Hi friends, good morning. It's Thursday, August 25th. I uh, hope you're doing well today. <clears throat> um, the psalm we have today to look at is Psalm 70. It's a much shorter psalm uh, than the last two that we read, and I have a reflection that I'm going to be reading um, uh, reading uh, after after I read the psalm for us. Um, I may, <clears throat> because it is only five verses, I'm going to read through this um, twice. And, uh, and, and we'll see what God has for us in it today. Um, let's take a moment to settle our hearts and uh, let me read this for us. It's a powerful psalm. Psalm 70. <clears throat> Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May those who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Like I said, I want to read that again. Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May those who want to take my life be put to shame <clears throat> and confusion. May all desire who my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O oh God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. I um <clears throat> as I read verse five, verse five says this. It says, "As for me, I am poor and needy." And honestly, what comes to my mind is sort of this impression that, from a cultural standpoint, in our world, or at least in our current culture, um, the poor and needy are. Are, are, are not well thought of, right? We have a certain, um, I think despise maybe, I don't know if that's too strong a word, do we despise the poor and the needy? Do we, do, do, do we sort of have a certain anger about them? Do we resent the poor and the needy? Do we see the poor and needy as, um, uh, as those who we are obligated to care for and uh, we do that with a begrudging attitude and a, and a, and a cynical heart? Do we, do we um, dislike the reality that we have to take care of other people? We think, well, why can't they take care of themselves? Why can't they pull their own weight? Why do I have to um, look out for them? Uh, aren't we supposed to each carry our own weight? That type of thing. Um, that's, that's sort of where my mind goes. Um, but I want to read this reflection and, um, and see if that can temper our cynicism. It says this, uh, Psalm 70, which we just read, uh, is traditionally used during Holy Week. In this setting, the quotation of the enemies in verse 3, Aha, Aha, which is also in Psalm 35, recalls the mocking words that onlookers directed at the crucified Jesus. We see that in Mark 15, 29. This liturgical setting is another reminder of the adaptability of the prayers for help in a variety of circumstances, and it is testimony, too, to the Christian conviction that Jesus ultimately embodied the role of the faithful sufferer who fully entrusts life and future to God. In other words, Jesus revealed the shape of God's sovereignty, greatness, that is constituted by the power of suffering love. 
And what this is saying is that um, the heart of Jesus can be found and often is uh, sometimes most readily found uh, in the lives of those we call poor and needy. Not always, but there does seem to be this tendency that we interact with God when we step into the margins, when we put ourselves uh, in the lives of those um, who may have the most need, who may have the least uh, agency in their lives, for those who may have the most, uh, the most difficult circumstances, for those who do have the most need. Um, I think that has been true. I've found that to be true in my life. There's been absolutely been times, lots of times, where uh, <clears throat> I, I, I find myself in, in, in such interactions and I walk away thinking, I, I think I just heard the voice of Jesus or saw the eyes of Jesus or interacted with uh, the heart of Jesus when I was with those living at the margins. And that can be a variety of situations. Um, so anyway, I, I, I think that causes us to think again uh, about our place in society and uh, you know some say if we want to interact with Christ uh, we need to go where Christ went and Jesus often went uh, sought out those um, the poorest of the poor those who lived at the margins the the orphans and widows the you know the neediest of a society so um, strong words maybe challenging words for us today uh, let's take a moment to pray. Lord, we, we, we ask <clears throat> that you would give us your heart, a heart that, is, that, 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 that takes after your own heart, that we would be uh, stirred by the things that move you, that we would uh, step out of the most comfortable places that we live and, and, and step into the places that you're working, which are often not the places we find ourselves. We have to seek that out. So, Lord, today, as we go into our day, guide our steps. Take us where you'd have us go. Stir us to be moved, to seek after those who might need your love, might need your comfort, might need your healing words, might need a, a, a something tangible we would be able to provide. Give us discernment in that. And help us to chase after your heart in those things. But Lord, also help us to always see uh, the spark of Jesus, the spark of you in every human being, every person made in the image of God. Let us never, never uh, lose sight of that, especially when we are at risk of becoming cynical. Lord, today uh, there are things that are on our minds and hearts, and so friends, take a, let's take a moment to lift up whatever prayer you bring today. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> And so, Lord, in your great mercy, hear our prayer for the day. Be with us as we go. Guide us and lead us. Bring us back home safe into your care at the end of the day. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, great to be with you as always. Uh, God bless you today. Uh, take care, and we will see you soon.